This is such a good show. I found out something new. This is... Oscar Levant Smile. Those are his relatives. That's the artist. That's her dad. It is so cool. So what do you think? Just ask <laughs> but yeah, what do you think? She really is related to Oscar Levant. And she based this piece, she based this piece on this um, Avedon portrait um, of him smiling. Really? Yeah. At the end of his life. Cool. Okay. Okay, sorry. What did she say? She said she'll call you in the morning. Oh, what's she doing now? Oh, isn't it kind of late for them to be going into school? No, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Well, let's roam around and get some more personages. I'm over 13 minutes now, so I've got to... I want to get Mike on here before I leave. Where is he? That's him. See how much I've been promoting you? Yes, I have. On my heard, Facebook page? I and I heard you put the article up all over the school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to get a few words with you. I got Kate. I found out something important about her. Besides her work, she's related to Oscar Levant. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I have any people like that. I don't care about that. I want to know about you now. And my little. son. That's the most, that's the biggest thing in my life. Probably for the rest of my life. There's no probably. Yeah. Yeah. This is where it's all It's kind of like, look like you. Same haircut and everything. Same haircut. So, <laughs> so you're friends with Mike? Yes, I am. Good. Yep. Very good friends. Yeah. Yep. Well, I was his teacher a long time ago, and now I'm his boss. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh, I bought it. <laughs> Can I get you talking just about one piece? Yeah, sure. How about the uh, refrigerator? Uh, what do you, what do you want to know? I, I don't care. What do you want to say? Um, this is for my public. Oh, God, I have a public. <laughs> you know what I like? I like the fact that when I stand here and, oh god, I'm sweating, the edge of the refrigerator melts into the wall. Yeah, yeah. Except when Dennis walks by, he breaks the spell. I'm sorry. No, 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 that's fine. I'm see me opening it up. Look, it's Bernie Madoff. Oh god, no. <laughs> Let's put him in there and lock it. <laughs> well, just say a couple words. I've gone over. My limits, so I'm gonna split it into two videos. I mean, listen, I, I, I've always been a bit uh, disgusted by, by refrigerators. You know? uh, I'm saying a little bit, I'm not really talking directly about this, I'll just talk about yeah. how these 
And um, so a lot of the way I've come to art, uh, at least finding my very personal relationship to art, is through a certain kind of obsessive cleaning and organizing. I mean that like immediately and also in a broader sense of how to act, you know, how to use it. Like yeah. And, uh, and refrigerators are really bizarre because I clean my refrigerator when I'm in my worst shape. And, it, and no matter how deep you go, there's always another hair in a little crevice. I hate that. You know? And then also, like, I have a tendency to eat too much. And... It looked pretty good to me, man. Then, you know, and then, I mean, everything else. And I'm, I'm also always attracted to uh, kind of high culture relationship to minimalism and emptiness and how that's, you know, but also how, where else clearings present themselves or emptiness so to kind of what you know to have just that thing and then unhinging it also like Kate was like racking things down you know really wrenching things down and I was trying to like kind of you know your work the both of you your work then, really hangs well together I, think, I mean I think immediately just the one thing of just turning that over but those are all like to me on a deeper level you know like mm -hmm. where this thing mm -hmm. um, Is it the only minimalist thing in the show? Well, I don't know if I'd call it minimalist, really. I'm just like fascinated. I thought it was with, interesting like, that you, with, just, you yeah. described it that way. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated with all the total of people's associations with minimalism and, and what it, how it worked in the history of art, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, my relationship, why I'm attracted to it, you know, I was attracted to it first visually, and then later read and understand it. Uh, and, and I discovered that my relationship to it was different than what the his the you know the acceptance of so um, like just to see things empty. There's this really great essay by Walter Benjamin called Constructive Character where he talks about uh, this this character's desire to uh, destroy, just to empty things, just to move things out of the way and and a clean slate. Yeah, so I always play with that in a way and I think also there's like a I've discovered like my relationship to I don't know to, to what what's happening in the world and, and how it being adopted into like design culture and just the history of there's always a lot of you know I, when I was in school I got a lot of questions like what's your relationship to minimalism people it's like a touchy yeah, point for people work. yeah <laughs> and so so I don't know I hope that's that's good man that's just a, a stab at the you know I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good to see you, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I have something to do. Why? The Detroit TV show. It was my baby. Exhausted me. I gotta go. Oh, I love that show. Detroit 2D. Yeah. Detroit is a show. And with that, I will end on your.